Hello, it's Sarah. I have a couple more mosaics I want to share and some tiles that I was inspired to make by Miss Callie Black. She's Callie Black on YouTube. Um, so Callie, shout out to you. Um, this is a mosaic I made again in one of those um, like frame things I got from Michaels. It's kind of like a just a piece of wood but it has that lip over the edge there so the tiles kind of go inside and this one is the girls just want to have fun theme um, and I'm stamping into the clay to create these words I have different stamps that I use letter stamps for different fonts so this says girls just want to have fun and then I ended up using two of my um, greeting farm stamps, the Miss Anya collection. I don't use them very often and thought I needed some girls and thought they were a good size so I stamped them into the clay. Now this is all black clay again and actually my son just came up and said these are all dark he said and he pointed to the, um, the brown and I'll show you in a minute but I'll show you when they're on the wall. And I said, yeah, that's because I'm using all black clay for these because I like the way the, um, the uh, mica powders pop off of them and stuff. And he said, yeah, but you should use a rainbow. You should, you know, and it's again, it's one of those things where just because I like it doesn't mean everyone's going to like it. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit more of a variety. I really do like the way the brown one turned out, the brown and um, pink and blue. The Smile Life is Good one. Um, but I did do the other one I did the life is beautiful one I did do it with black again black clay um, and you can also buy the black clay at Michaels in a bigger pack like this the primo it's ten dollars but I always use a coupon 50 would be great but I definitely use my 40% off coupons um, so that's what I like about the black clay too but I did just get uh, a couple of different bright colors I got um, this dark blue, which I've never used, I don't think. This is navy, navy blue. Um, I got purple, so I made I made a tile. I'll show you what I made with the purple, and I think it's gone. But there's like, oh, here it is. A dark purple. I don't know what they call it, but half the block is gone. But see, that's a dark purple. Um, and then this is a, a purple pearl. So I like that too. But I have a lot of light colors. So I'm going to play. This is a beautiful turquoise. That's the one I used on the other one. I have pink. I have a lot of colors. So, and some more brown. Um, this is called raw sienna. But I had the burnt sienna. I think I used it all up. Anyway, um, I found this other stamp. I love this stamp in the clay. And you never know. Like you just, I guess gotta play. I'm gonna go down tonight and have a look at my stamps because I didn't bring all of them up with me when I came upstairs. Um, my um, wood mounted stamps aren't up here. Um, but anyway, this is uh, mainly it's about the girls and just want to have fun and I just put a border around them. So I like how this turned out. I'm liking the way I'm designing so so to speak. Um, I've been adding some of the applique, bleh, applique flowers to the pieces, so I'm adding, I'm throwing in a few of those to jazz it up too. Um, I did add stickles to this after it was all set up and dry and everything. I added stickles like a little eye shadow. I put it on their bows and on a couple of the flowers and stuff just to give it a little bling and I'll show you that on the wall in a minute. I have this one. Joe had a couple of scraps in the basement, some wood scraps. This is a chunk of like, I think it was oak, some type of oak. And it's about, let's see, three, six, seven, eight inches. I think it's like eight by eight, about eight by eight. And um, I just like the thickness of it. It's a block of wood. There's no frame or anything around it. And I just painted this with my Lemur paints and these are um, fabric paints I believe but they are metallic acrylic paint light body metallic acrylic Lemur by Jacquard 
and this is the metallic bronze I'm pretty sure that's what I used on this and I just painted the back black but um, really this just says life is beautiful that's the main theme of this one put it in the center and just used really I didn't make any tiles for this I just used what I had made which was kind of neat and I cut them down if they didn't fit I told you that if you roll out these tiles on a five on the pasta machine look that is a nice width for you to be able to I just use my um, tonic scissors my Tim Holtz scissors I'm sure other scissors could go through this and I can cut these tiles to fit so it's nice um, that way, you know, and then even after I've got everything where I like it, I, sorry, I hit a button, I can then make a little more room. Like I even trimmed these flower ones a little bit, like this one. It was just sticking out. There was no, I like to have a little gap between each tile. And so I trimmed them to make them fit. And then that little piece right there, I just cut off the end of one to make little filler tiles so um, I am enjoying this I'm gonna make a few more I gotta come up with some good sayings if you guys have um, leave some comments of good sayings that you really like um, mottos credos that type of thing uh, but oh I was gonna say these stamps this is a stamp that I've had forever and I mean I think it's uh, one of like a clearance stamp it's a um ink it ink do it's actually on clearance right now at um, my AC Moore is changing their whole stamp department but this comes out really cool when you stamp it into the clay like this is a piece of it I think I cut it into four pieces that stamp on this one the butterfly like there's leaves with the words like I really love that this is a piece of it too um, that turned out super cool when I stamped it into the clay and then this one this is just a big hero arts background stamp um, and when you stamp it into the clay it's beautiful like look this is a piece of that and it, it almost looks like a sunburst the way it um, turned out uh, and there's just pieces of that all throughout there's a big one over here and a big one down here and here no 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 that's the other one with the hydrangea so I mean, and then I've been using the hearts as a filler piece too, and then that, um, the tooled leather is, um, I want to say it's by, uh, um, Lisa Pavelka. I think it's one of hers, the tooled leather, but it's really pretty. So that's what I'm starting to feel like is my, um, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with a main theme and then have all these different filler tiles, but it, they are busy. And I'm going to try them in different colors next time, I think. I want to see um, what if what Matt's saying is, is true. So all I did was paint this. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. I painted this one with the Lemire because this is a metallic paint. I've been using my, um, just my glorious gold uh, Americana metallic paint for all of them. But I felt like changing it. Oh, Deco Art. Deco Art Americana, yeah. Um, the Dazzling Metallics, and I love this color, Glorious Gold. That's what I did my, um, all the backgrounds on the other ones. I painted the frames different colors. But when the girls just want to have fun, I actually painted this with the Martha Stewart. Because Martha Stewart has a um, pearl line. This is the, um, what is it, does she have a color on here? Purple Martin. And this one's called Hollyberry Pearl. And this one's Mother of Pearl. They're like, because I got these. Actually, I had the white, but these were on clearance at my Joann's. These were 50 cents. So that was amazing. So I used this, the purple one, Purple Martin um, Pearl, on the back, like the, the frame. And then I did the inside with, I think that's the, um, the metallic, uh, the glorious gold metallic. But I wanted to switch it up. So look at this one. This is actually, um, it's like a blue green. This is called Halo Blue Gold. Halo Blue Gold. And it's not going to be um, really showing. This is going to be what the grout looks like. So if you put the tiles on there, that's what's going to show through the background. You know what I mean? So you're not going to see a ton of it. It's just going to be like an, a peeking through thing. And then I did the back with black. 
Um, I did these. This one's kind of cool. I got another one of those frames. This is the, I think this is the, oh, this is called Halo Pink Gold. So it, you can tell it's got like a gold and a pink to it. So I did that and then I put checks around the border and painted the back black. And then this one is the, I did the back all black. This one is just the metallic bronze, I think. So I just wanted to change it up and I actually think this one is the metallic bronze too. Or maybe I have another color that I put away already. I'm not sure. But I figured I had them in my stash, these um, Jacquard paints, and wasn't really using them for anything. So I figured I'd give them a shot on this. And I love how they turned out. So I'm going to hang this back up. This one goes up here. But I, I, I do think um, Matt was right. He, you know, these are just black clay and that's you know it's definitely a certain look that you get i mean it's dark it is dark um you know and people like pastels i like pastels i love pink and blue um and brown pink and brown blue and brown um so i think i'm going to do a couple more um in this style too and i love how i played i put the um same color flowers in there the pink and the blue flowers um, so that's what I have. And this is my, I kind of like this one in black. That one's okay because it goes with the theme, the Dia de los Muertos, um, theme. You love my Spanish? That's a crack up. Um, I don't know. The girls just want to have fun. Probably should have been a bit more colorful. I really love the life is beautiful. I think it turned out cool. Like I like the color. I like it dark. So anyway, then, oh. Callie. She showed on her video, she had made some tiles, some letter tiles, and she did love in letter tiles. So I made create, and these are about an inch by an inch. They're mm, inch and a half by inch and a half. Some are about an inch and some are inch and a half, the bigger letters. So it says create, and I put a little dragonfly charm and some stars at the bottom. And she attached everything with jump rings, so that's what I did. Copying. See, I'm a copycat. I was inspired, Callie. Um, <laughs> but there it is, and I put my little flowers on there on each of the letters, and I put um, the metallic rubs on there. And I love it. I love it. I think it turned out super cute. And I have one more up here, and I don't love it as much. I think I got a little crazy, but this says Dream. These are actually wooden letters that I got at Michael's that I was going to do something with. And I just pushed them into the clay. Got the impression. And then that was, this is the dark purple clay. I'm going to take it down. Um, I... Forgot to make, um, no, I did do a background, but I was going to put uh, little flowers or something on there. So, of course, I had to jazz them up. So, I used my, um, what are these called? Pearl, liquid pearls. I put the liquid pearls around the D to make it pop a little more, and I think it did. I think it helped. I ended up painting the purple a little bit to get it a little sparklier. Um, with the uh, Martha Stewart, that purple that I used. I put stickles around the edges. I like it. And then I connected everything with this 20 gauge um, copper wire. I kind of just did the curly cue, pulled it back, stuck it through, and did another curly cue just with my, um, sorry, these, my round nose pliers. You just kind of twist the wire down to get it to. Like, and I tried to keep it kind of even. I made a little heart at the top and just made the curly cue, stuck it through a hole. I drilled these holes with my um, Dremel. And then I, put, I did put a one, I had this made already because it doesn't match, obviously. I should use copper. Um, but it was made and I liked it. So I just hung that at the bottom. But I like this Create on my desk. I put these little, um, these were on clearance. I'm at nine minutes. But um, these are those, I forget the brand name, um, 3M, that you can take off. 
So I'm kind of using them lately to hang stuff up on my desk. Like I have one up here, I have my um, apron on, but there's a clear one right here that I hang my apron there with. So um, I'm gonna go to the wall. All right, you guys, I'm gonna try and do more colors. All right, thanks for watching.